Proposals for Research Projects and Research Papers Topics What is a research proposal? Selecting a research topic Producing a research proposal Producing a proposal for a research paper What is research proposal? For this presentation, a research proposal is a plan, written by the student, that outlines intended research activities, for approval of a research supervisor or committee. A research proposal defines what is to be studied, how, and when summarizes the work that has to be done for the report, thesis, or dissertation, clarifies why this research is important. A research proposal should reflect that you have given some serious thought to the chosen subject, and made a real attempt to show how you intend to study it. A good proposal indicates thorough preparation at an early stage and saves a great deal of time later on and always pays dividends. A research proposal forces the student to focus attention on a research topic early in his slash her studies. Helps organize the research in a logical manner and in a way that models the final report. Ensures that the research is doable. Sometimes the best decision that can come from writing a proposal is a decision not to proceed. Forms the basis for funding. Length and size. 25-point research report proposal. Small, perhaps only two pages, or even a form. Due very early in the semester. General emphasis on purpose and scope to determine doability. 100-point master's thesis proposal. Larger, perhaps 7 to 15 pages. Due early in the semester, or even before acceptance into master's study. Shows some evidence of literature review 300-point PhD dissertation proposal, large, perhaps 20 to 30 pages. Due at end of provisional registration, six months full-time study, but a pre-proposal proposal, along the scope of a master's proposal earlier in the process is recommended. A fairly complete research plan with well-defined conceptual framework and methodology. Increasingly, must be approved by a committee, and may be subject to external examination. Content of RP, outlines. Provisional title. Purpose of the study. Importance of the study. Relationship to previous work. Methodology and data collection. Timetable. Resource requirements. Additional considerations ethics, publication. Title. Nothing focuses attention on the topic, like writing a title. A title is a concise description of your research topic, usually no more than 15 words. If possible, the title should include key variables in the study, the relationship between the variables and the population to which the results apply. Provisional indicates that can be changed. Purpose of study. Every research proposal should have a sentence that begins, the purpose of the study is to then, one of the following with brief explanations, research questions, to be answered. Research objectives, specific products to be produced. Hypotheses, one or more hypotheses to be tested. Importance of study. Why is this a topic worth researching? Who will benefit from this research? Why how will they benefit? What new knowledge is likely to be discovered? How is this original work? How will the student benefit? Maybe, add honors and PDA. How will the research contribute to the literature? For sure, at master's and PhD, relationship to previous work. All research proposals must show some evidence of a literature review, and almost always in the academic literature. A comparative study, research done in a different context or country is replicated here, with an emphasis on why the results might be different. A workplace application, an idea, theory, or conceptual model is applied in practice. Relationship to previous work. Rarely, original theoretical work. Grounded theory, development of theory based on observations. Extensions of existing theory, extending, or disproving theory. Include all cited work in a references section, at the end of the proposal. Methodology. What methodology, experiment, case study, action research, etc. will be used? Why? What data collection methods, survey, observation, interview, etc. will be used? What sampling procedures will be used? How will results be analyzed and interpreted, including statistical analysis? What problems or limitations can be expected? Timetable. All research work can be viewed as a project or a series of projects. Principles of project management apply. Work to a deadline, start at the end and work backwards. Build in delays, most stages will take longer than planned. At a minimum, provide a list of activities and a week by w week plan for carrying out the activities. Project management software, such as Microsoft Project Manager, can be very useful. Resources. 
What resources will you need? Clarify use of department managed office space, computers, tape recorders, photocopiers, printers, staff, stationery, etc. Computer software, quantitative analysis software, statistical software interlibrary loan, postage, photocopy, data entry for surveys, travel, transcription services for interviews, proposals for research projects and research papers, selecting a research topic, 12 issues to bear in mind when choosing a research topic, 1. How much choice you have, 2. Your motivation, 3. Regulations and expectations, 4. Your subject or field of study, 5. Previous examples of research projects papers, 6. The size of the topic, 7. The time you have available. 8. The cost of research. 9. The resources you have available. 10. Your need for support. 11. Excess issues. 12. Methods for researching. Selecting a research topic remember. Nearly everything will take longer than you expect. There are always some problems. So, be realistic. Try and keep things as simple and straightforward as possible. Producing a research proposal. Students should complete research proposal before the midterm. What you will need to produce for your project is a terms of reference. Terms of reference. These usually consist of four sections that address dash. Background and overview. Objectives. Resources. Constraints. Plus you will expect it to produce an outline set of plans that detail how you expect to carry out the project. See outlines above. Terms of reference. You will need to detail stages, order of activities, deliverables, and times. Normally this is done by means of a schedule and a Gantt chart. Producing a proposal for a research paper. We will consider the use of Extended Abstracts Extended Abstracts Paper Proposals Often required by conference organizers to help them do some initial planning. Organize reviewing Provide advance feedback to authors some conferences do their paper selection only on extended abstracts. If the extended abstract is accepted, then your paper is guaranteed acceptance. Often all a keynote or invited speaker needs to produce is an extended abstract. Not a full paper. Extended abstracts paper proposals. A promise of what will be delivered. Often written in the future tense as it describes what will delivered, not what currently exists. Should contain information on scene setting places work in context. Outline content structure. Particular highlights. Plus, a good title can help get attention. Initial references to give an indication of the quality of research and support the proposed contents of the paper. Components of a paper. Abstract. This should summarize the context of the paper, your approach and the methods used and the main findings. It should be capable of being read separately from the paper so don't put citations in it. The next slide breaks down an article to illustrate how to critique. A mobile clinical e-portfolio for nursing and medical students, using wireless personal digital assistance PDAs Bernard Mark Garrett and Catherine Jackson 2006. Objectives of the research. Methods used. Conclusions discussion. Did the results support your hypothesis? Or enabled you to attain your objective? Discuss briefly how information from this project expands our knowledge about the category subject. Components of a paper. Introduction. This should set the scene. Critically assess the main papers written in this field for example you may want to follow the approach used by a cited author and introduce the how the paper is structured. So at the end of the introduction you can signpost what's coming in the next sections for example. The next section reviews the literature and highlights the problems opportunities. This is followed by the main arguments for and against the topic. The conclusion will summarize the arguments and highlight areas for further research. Components of a paper, main text. Sections should follow on logically from each other and follow an argument. Do not just list many subheadings covering descriptions of aspects of your subject. Try to think of the main issues problems that emerge from your reading of the literature. Use citations to support your assertions. If a page has no citations this is bad writing you may be giving a lot of opinion or quoting large sections of text. These are all bad writing techniques in academic writing. Components of a paper, conclusion. This may be preceded by a discussion of the arguments or the results if your research paper is describing results of an experiment. Conclusion. Review paper. Summarize the conceptual approach taken and discuss the main points that have emerged from your literature review. You may add what's missing from the review and or recommendations for further research. Experimental work. A summary of your interpretation of the data and results of the experiment. You should restate the hypothesis and whether you found the hypothesis to be true or false. You should also comment on how the results of the experiment satisfied your original purpose. 
Components of a paper. References. These should be written in the Harvard style. Do not put numbers before the references. References should be cited by author name and year in the main body of the paper e.g. Smith, 2006 not by numbers. Most of the references should be to peer-reviewed academic journal papers, some recent books and web references kept to a minimum. How to produce a structured report. There is a convention for writing reviews research papers. The exact order and content may differ but all papers have the same basic structure. Different academic journals require specific requirements about length, format, referencing style so if you want to be published you must write in the required format. Every section should follow logically. You construct your argument as though you were stringing beads. One point logically follows another.